All right, so I, I'm thinking of making an alt right now. For those of you guys don't know, you have a thousand views. Okay, so for those that are new, I play a fire mage as a main, and I just started playing rogue this season, and I've been really enjoying it, sub rogue specifically. Right now, I also kind of want to learn to play arcane and frost, just so I can learn all the mage specs and be more versatile of a player. Because playing fire mage, fire is good, but they're just kind of limited. They're very limited as a spec like you can only play like w and pal or windwalker mage and aside from that like rmp is better with a frost mage it's still viable as a fire mage but it's a little bit better as a frost mage overall i think if i want to play god comp i have to learn how to play frost or maybe even arcane like if i want to play mls it doesn't fire just doesn't have enough damage or kill potential so that's why i'm thinking of learning frost so if you guys see me play frost in the near future on stream don't be too shocked um Yes, and of course, right now I've been practicing Rogue a lot, and uh, I want to get really good at the game again so I can start competing in tournaments for next year and the upcoming Cups. And with Legion, you have to know how to play more than one class to excel, I feel like. You have to be versatile and know how to play multiple comps so you can counter pick. So my partner is going to be Dibs. He just recently came back to the game as well. He plays a Shadow Priest, and he's going to be leveling a Boomkin. So I'm thinking... What should be my third character? Mage, Rogue, and I, I'm thinking what should be my third? I can't decide, so I need your guys' help. Like, I'm definitely going to be learning Frost and Arcane, or 80% sure. Still be playing my Fire Mage, of course. Playing some Sub Rogue, and then I want a third class. I'm thinking right now, either a Demon Hunter, because Demon Hunters are good with Shadow Priest and Boomies, which what that's what Dibs is. My Shaman is going to learn how to play a Holy Pally and maybe a Holy Priest as well. What should be my third? If Dibs is playing a Boomie and Shadow Priest, you know... I, Demon Hunter is really good with Shadow Priest and Boomy. Maybe I'm thinking of me being the Boomy myself though, because Dibs doesn't have the Boomy yet. So I, I'm thinking about maybe learning Boomy, but I don't know about that. I don't know if I would enjoy the playstyle. So I'm thinking DH, maybe Boomy, uh, maybe a Warrior, because Warrior is usually good with Priests and Boomies too. It's really good with Boomies right now. Um, you guys are saying Lock, but I don't really want to play Lock. I don't know. I just hate pet management. Which is why I hated Frost. But now you can go like Lonely Winter Talent and not have to have a pet, which is nice. And a, possibly a Windwalker Monk. So if you guys have Twitter, I want to make this poll through Twitter. Let's see, and I want you guys to vote and tell me what I should... What I should alt. Playing Mage and Rogue at the moment. What should I alt next for Arenas? And for those of you guys that watch my stream a lot, choose wisely because once I choose this alt, you're gonna see me be playing. Uh, you're gonna see me playing it a lot. So it's also up to you guys. Whatever you guys think would be most entertaining. I would. I'm thinking about Warrior, but there's also a lot of Warrior streamers already, which I feel like wouldn't make my stream as unique. And obviously, if I'm thinking about tournaments, it has nothing to do with streaming. But still, that's just something I want to think about. You know. So Demon Hunter, Boomkin. Warrior, Windwalker. What else? What else should I add? Oh, is that I can only add four? I'll add the length to. Should I make it three days long? Fuck it, because I want to post this on YouTube as well. <laughs> I will donate five hundred bucks if you choose DH Kappa. A lot of people seem to hate on DH for some reason. Anything I should alter here before I, pu I before I uh, publish it? I don't want to play a hunter. I was thinking about it. Oh yeah, Shadow Priest too. But Dibs is a Shadow Priest. I would love to play Shadow Priest, but... Maybe I could just play Shadow Priest for fun anyways, because it'd be, it'd be good for me. Get rid of Windwalker. Oh, whoops. Fuck. Demon Hunter. Demon Hunter, Boomy, or Boomkins are definitely a choice. I really, I don't really want to learn Warrior. Keep Windwalker. I think I'm gonna get rid of Warrior. Boomkin. Okay, Shadow Priest, okay? Shadow Priest. Windwalker. I'll get rid of. Okay. Pull length, three days. Alright, one of my mods, please copy and spam paste this in my chat. There we go, boom. Haven't showered today? Nope. I shower every day when I wake up, but. Yeah, today was just a lazy day for me. I woke up and I laid in bed looking at my phone for a fucking hour. Like, for? Jesus. I woke up pretty early though, but I just laid in bed. Hello. And then I went upstairs and laid in bed for another hour just looking at my phone. 
And then the WoW tournament started, so I watched that for a few hours. Took a break from it, from watching it here and there, you know. Made some food. Came back and watched it again. Watched almost the entire thing. I was entertained throughout. It was it was a great tournament. You know what? It inspired the fuck out of me. How, how many of you guys watched the tournament? I'm like watching it. I'm like, well, I should be up there. In my mind, I'm like, I should be up there fighting the big boys. I I want to play in a tournament. I I want to unwash. Completely, you know, master a couple classes, find a team, and play in the tournaments. This is my dream. I should have done it in MOP when I had the chance to. But, you know, we couldn't, unfortunately. But, before it's too late for me, I want to compete. And it's not even about winning or whatever. Well, that'd be dope, obviously. But I want to just have that experience of playing in a tournament. So, I need to learn more classes. I definitely can't do it just playing Fire Mage. So, that's why I'm learning my Rogue right now. What other class should I learn? I'm trying to decide. Because I really want to participate in a tournament. It looks so fun. It looks like it just be something nice to accomplish. Even just like making it to the NA regionals or anything like that, that'd be such a good thing to accomplish before WoW gets too stale and completely dies off or whatever. I believe in you, you're a god. Why can't you play on a tournament? Well, because I take too many breaks, so I never get good enough. And when I am good enough, I don't have a set team to play a tournament with. Like, I don't have partners. I've never had like serious partners, except dibs when i was playing with dibs and shapes a lot back in mod that was the only time that i had serious partners that we were we were really committed and consistently beating the top tournament players that was the only time which was in mop but yeah so this is gonna be a big journey guys i'm telling you i am back to full-time streaming it feels good but one of my goals okay so i have two goals one of my goals is to grow my stream and be able to stream full-time from playing wow and maybe branch off into other games like Overwatch or PUBG, whatever, just play on the side and also be able to participate in a tournament. And it's gonna be a long journey. You guys have already watched a month of me since I've been back for a month now. You guys have already watched a month of me unwashing and getting better at my Fire Mage and also learning Rogue. But I gotta get better. Like, I need to be competing at the 20. I've been, I'm like around 24 on my Mage right now, which is pretty good. I actually fight into tournament players and rank ones at this MMR. They play at this MMR, but I I, I want to be competing at like 2600, beating top players consistently, and also doing that on my Rogue. And while finding core partners I can participate with. So, it's going to be a long journey. Definitely not this year, but hopefully by next year I'll be settled down and be able to live that dream. But yeah, I'll be streaming the whole time, the entire journey and process, so you guys get to follow it with me. And one day, I swear to you, you will fucking see my name in the tournament, okay? One day. And baby steps, so one step at a time, right? I'll be here every stream to support the dream. Oh, I see what you did there. Not gonna happen with Dibs, you need a better partner. Hey, 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 listen. Dibs is my boy. And sure, he's washed up. And sure, he makes a lot of mistakes. But listen, maybe the Dibs now, it's not gonna happen with the Dibs now. But what about the Dibs a year down the line when we're practicing consistently for day, day in and day out? Weeks, months? Many, many months, many, many days. Dibs will improve. I will improve as a player. We're going to learn the meta, learn to adapt, learn different comps so we can be more versatile of players. You know, time changes everything, bro. So yes, you can insult Dibs now, but maybe what, what about the, the new Dibs? You know, you got to have faith. You got to have faith. And I know that's a long stretch. That's a very long stretch, but it is for me too. Me and Dibs were dream team and mop, exactly. And if I, if I would want to do it with anybody, it would have to be with Dibs, man. I mean, it wouldn't have to be, but I would I would prefer it to be with him. Because him and I have just good synergy. We're, I mean, sure, like we make mistakes and we have bad Q sessions, but that happens to everyone, right? But him and I, we just have good chemistry as players. Like, we're, we're just very close. And he's a friend. Not He's not just a partner of mine. He's a friend of mine. And we should have competed in MOP. We should have. And I, I, I wouldn't want to take on the journey without him, you know? I wish you played Mage with Dibs. Too bad Fire Esprits don't work. Yeah, I know, man. But that's why I'm thinking maybe I should tell Dibs to learn a Warrior so then I can play Fire Mage Warrior with him. Either that or I'm going to have to Master Rogue so we can RPS. 
Uh, but there, we have a few options, but definitely a Shadow Priest and a Fire Mage will not go together. We can't even win at 8, 8, 1900 with that comp. But how are we gonna, you know? Or I'd have to learn a Frost Mage. There's many options. It just, it's a matter of what we'll take. And the the best bet for us is learning a couple comps, right? And also finding a healer that's able to play multiple healers. Sub or assassin? I play sub at the moment. And honestly, we're doing pretty well. Like, everyone's like saying, okay, so why are you only playing at 24 when you've been 3k, right? But there's something called MMR inflation. So every season, at the beginning of a season, the MMR deflates back down. So something that would be equivalent to 3k is it now becomes like 2500. And then something equivalent of like 2600 becomes like 20, 22, 21. It's because it deflates and throughout the season it's, it starts inflating and inflating more so say like you're at a 50 50 win rate win loss rate as long as you're at a 50 50 win loss rate and the season goes on you're still increasing in rating because of the inflation so right now i'm playing at like 24 say for example that's like that'd be the equivalent of like like 26 50 27 at near the end of a season if that makes sense and like I may, I, that might not be high because there are people at 26, 27 right now, but uh, I'm still like fighting like pretty high rated players right now. So, and uh, my rogue, we, me and Dibs have queued up to 2300 MMR, which is actually pretty decent for me playing on an alt. We fought some pretty good players, and there's so much that we need to work on. So many different variables, so many More like setups and and strats and just execution. There's so many things we need to work on. But I'm just glad I'm able to play Rogue at even a 2200 level. That when before I was stuck at like 1800, right? So it's progress is progress. You can find shapes X. But I don't know if he wants to compete in tournaments because in Mop he he didn't want to. Like me and Divs really wanted to and he didn't want to, and that's why we couldn't compete when that was one of our big biggest chances, or it was our biggest chance. Would you only play as mage in tournaments? That's the thing though. I can't. I can't. No way I'll make it far just playing a mage. Little, you know, like, especially just playing fire mage. I gotta learn how to play other comps. Because there's too many counter comps in this game right now. Like, you could be the best at a, at a comp for the most part. You could be really fucking good at a comp. But there's always a comp that will counter you. That you just can't beat. Especially, think about it. You're playing, like, the best top level players. That's a tournament. You're fighting the top level players. If every comp is played at the highest level, it's still, it's almost like rock, paper, scissors, unless you outplay the shit out, of, uh, shit out of them. And even then, like, why wouldn't you just try to get good at playing other classes? So then you can learn how to counter, you can counter comp other picks. It's just, it's a part of the game right now. You gotta learn how to adapt to the meta. I can't just play Fire Mage, right? It doesn't, just, it doesn't work like that. But that's why I, I need to get good at Rogue. I need to get good at Rogue and play it at a high level. Um... I'll probably have to play like a thousand more threes games on my road to get anywhere near that, like at least a thousand. And I need to play at least a thousand more threes games on my mage this season too, or even more. So I, this is going to be a lot of arena queuing, a lot of arena queuing. And then I'm trying to figure out what my third, I, I want to be able to play at least three classes and multiple specs at a high rate, a high, a high level, at like 24 plus. So I'm, I'm trying to decide, I want to get your guys' feedback as well on what my third class, the best choice would be if I were to play with Dibs and what three classes he should learn. But I don't know, it's, it's still, we're still in the beginning stages of this. I can't really say the WoW competitive scene doesn't seem to have big rewards. You're right. The prize pools are not that big. Like, compare it with like League or Dota, it's tiny. It's, it's tiny. I was looking at the EU regionals, it's like the winning, winning team gets like what, 8 grand or something? Imagine having a four-team roster, splitting that, that's 2k each. 2k each, including taxes? You get, what do you get, like 1500 each? That's nothing. You know, I'd rather stream. But it's not, I'm not even, I'm not thinking about the money, dude. I'm thinking about the experience. If it was just about the money, fuck that, man. It would not be worth it. Hours and hours, thousands of games grinding for 1500? No, dude. It's not about the money, bro. It's about the pride and the experience and the accomplishment. And sure, WoW is not a big esports game anymore. A lot of people don't give a fuck about WoW. It doesn't even get the tournaments don't get as many views if you compare it to other games. But it's not about that. It's about just doing it for myself because I want to do it. I played this game for so long. It's something that I I, I want to have in my resume or whatever you want to call it. You know. But I see where you're coming from, Bakara. You're actually absolutely right.
I definitely see where you're coming from. But it's still something I want to do, you know? <laughs> it's still something I want to do. And you know, isn't that what's most important when it comes down to it? Or is it what society tells you is valuable? What, what if, you know? Imagine if you're married to a rank 1 girl and she's playing Shadow Priest, dude. It'd be so fun. Fuck, I don't know if I'd want to have a... Intimate relationship with an arena partner. I feel... You think it'd be fun, but would it? Would it though? Cause like, I've had girlfriends that play games, and like sometimes, like in the past, I'd have girls. They're like, "Oh, I want to teach me how to play WoW," and I'm like, ah, it's, "It's like, don't, don't get into WoW." I don't know, like, I don't know why I say that, but I don't want to have to like fucking teach them everything about WoW and like, not only that, but like we, I argue with my teammates, you know, if like if she like. If she dibs first, you know, I'd be like, fuck, babe, like, press your button, and then she'd be like, I'm trying, and I'm like, fuck, like, and we'd start arguing and shit, and then, like, it'd just be another way to start arguments, and not that I argue with my girlfriend, or at the time a lot, but it, it just, it just create complications, I feel like, you know, you know what I mean? I just, I'd rather, I, I like separating, usually, at first, though, I thought it'd be amazing, I thought it'd be, I'd be like, oh, how awesome would it be to have a girlfriend that to play WoW with in Key 2s? It'd be so cute. But, like, after experiencing it, I'm like, uh, maybe I thought wrong, you know? Maybe I was just naive. Because now I'd rather keep that separate. I mean, if she games, that's cool. I'd like to play some casual games with her. But arenas, I I like to separate that, you know? Me and Dibs can argue. I, I don't need to... Me and Dibs are already, like, a married couple. Have you guys not watched us play? Like, fucking Dibs, bro. Like, <laughs> it'd be worse. Think about it for a second. You think you do, but you don't. Hashtag vanilla. <laughs> what if she was better than you? She's like, fuck, babe, no block. Yeah, exactly. Or that too. And she'd be pissed, and we get tilted. And 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 then like we go back to our real lives, but we'd still be pissed about that. But if I have a girlfriend that doesn't play well, you know, I, I have a tilty three session, I come back to my girlfriend, everything's fine. I'm back in the real world. We don't have to think about it. You know, it's, it's like a different escape. <laughs>